All right, Sunday, uh, end of week three, wrapping up. Chris has got the barbecue going, and uh, I'm just wrapping up for the day. <clears throat> so we didn't do much today because we had a birthday party. We went to Nashville to celebrate Janessa's birthday. We had breakfast there, and then we came back. So it took about four or five hours out of our day, uh, maybe six hours uh, round trip. Um, and the good news is we got the drain, sewer drain dump station in the ground. We've got a few large foundation pieces over there that I'm gonna have to get a jackhammer to break up and get out of there. They're just a little too heavy to lift out. All of our back area pretty much tore out. So what's gonna be the mudroom and the kitchen, the new kitchen, we got all the walls tore out. That was important because we were worried about the water damage there. We were worried it was up in the roof on the decking and the main top stud, um, but it's not. So there's very few decking that's gonna have to be replaced. The top studs most likely not going to have to be replaced. It's just some of the studs in the wall around the windows where um, it was leaking in from the soffit and the siding. The siding had no OSB or anything on the other side of it to stop it. So um, just a mess. Um, but anyway, we got that solved. Good news. We don't have to replace all that stuff. Roofer's supposed to be here tomorrow, day one or week four to get started on the roof. Uh, we got the trench partially filled up, as I mentioned here. This is going to stay open a little while right here where the cap is because of those two main rocks. Uh, and then until we get the electric line figured out, we've got the 30 amp electric that's in the ground here, which we've marked. Uh, but the rest of it's pretty much filled in. We just need to, you know, um, grade this out once we get to that point. We're not too concerned about that right now. Next spring is probably when we'll get this all graded out into a nice... Uh, flower bit coming around the corner here. We're gonna put a 50 amp line in with an RV pedestal right there on the side of the wall. We're gonna run another 50 amp line and come into some conduit and then come right down here in the ground across to the shop. So that will be sometime in the next few weeks, um, hopefully. All right, so uh, financially, our plan here is to uh, do most everything cash. So we're gonna put a, a swimming pool in back here We've got a certain amount of money going towards that budget for the swimming pool. Targeted to get that done in April because when we want to be when we're working here next summer, normally we plan on going somewhere up into the uh, mountains so it'll be a nicer temperature. We figure we can bear the hot summer if we have a pool. So we're going to try to get that pool in in April. So we're setting aside most of our savings toward the pool. We've got another se separate spending money from that that we can use however we want, and most of it we'll be using on. Things that we need to get done on the house so sometimes there'll be a delay because we're waiting and being disciplined with our finances instead of going into deep debt so week three was productive uh, we got uh, the trench done which was very important with the drain line so we got the trench filled back in drain line connected we've already been dumping from the rv we're in good shape there we got a bunch of stuff tore out as you can see here's our drywall that was tore out of this back area right through here which will be the new kitchen right in here right inside this door will be the new kitchen and then that back room there will be a mud room utility room and a uh, doorway out to the pool area that's going to be back here in the back so the demolition's coming along well The other thing that uh, we got done this weekend, or this week, the other thing we got done on week three, not quite done. Uh, Chris made progress on the deck, so she stained it. She's got some more work to do on the outside here, some touch up, and I think she's gonna do another coat. So it's looking good. What do we have planned week four? Week four is the roof. So we're getting the roof back. They started on the roof yesterday. Uh, they were ready to put the sheet metal down today, and they got about two hours into the work, and then they got rained out, so. Uh, Hopefully the weather will clear up and we'll get the roof finished tomorrow. Chris is diehard working in the rain, trying to clean up that area right there. Uh, it's gonna look nice when we get it done. And still got the fire going to cleanse the property of demo materials and leaves and limbs.
What's that, babe? We're almost through with week four. It's Thursday and uh, haven't got to do as much as I would like to this week due to work responsibilities. But we did get uh, some worse work done on the demo inside. And Chris has been doing some things outside, cleaning up the area next to the house. Uh, I'll show you that right over here. So that area over there where we cut down a bunch of trees, we've got a bunch of stobs to uh, cut down a little bit further or remove with the backhoe. It's just been cleaning that up. And we've been doing, uh, taking the ceiling and opening up the rest of the walls in the back two rooms here. We're trying to get those completely demoed because we're going to have to, uh, well, I have to. We're going to choose to move some doors around and windows around outside. So a lot going to change here on these back rooms um, that I'll show you here in just a second. So we've got a, just a little bit more done on the demolition inside here. With the back two rooms is really where our focus is for the most part, even though we've, we've done some of the demolition out here. Um, we're going to finish up the demolition here, hopefully by Sunday. So this weekend when I get some more time to work on it. We're gonna finish this demolition. There's not much left uh, taken out, just really the siding off of that wall, the drywall off of that wall, cleaning all this up, sweeping it out, and then we'll be ready to uh, ready to go on these rooms. And what we're gonna end up doing on these rooms is starting on this room first. Uh, I'm not sure when we're gonna get started on the actual remodel on uh, flipping a room or adding stuff in, but the first one we're gonna start on is the utility room. <clears throat> So in this utility room, or mud room, whatever Chris likes to call it, we're gonna take that window out and put a door in. We're going to install a hot water heater, tankless hot water heater here, so we don't need a big closet for that tank water heater that we had over here. So we'll be running new, um, new plumbing lines to that. I won't be doing the gas line. I'll get a plumber to do that. I'll probably run the water lines and everything from there. So we'll get the, uh, the plumber to install the hot water heater or the gas lines that come there. And then uh, we'll put that water heater on the wall, vent it out through that wall. Uh, I'm not really sure what she has for the rest of the room. We'll have to, the rest of this room, we'll have to show you the plans. I know there's gonna be a, a bathroom next to the door over here. The door's gonna go out to the backyard where the pool's gonna be. Um, and she's gonna have a pantry. She's gonna have the washer and dryer in here. So the, the main thing, the main reason we're starting on this room first is to move the washer and dryer back here because we want to keep the ability to wash our clothes here at the homestead rather than have to go into a, a, a laundry, rather than have to go to a laundromat about 20 minutes away. The good news is even though we haven't got a lot done ourselves, the roof's going up. So you can see the uh, white sheet metal there on the side where they built the new roof line. So now we'll have good drainage off the roof and not have water backing up into this and it's almost done, so they should be finishing up on that on today or Friday. So still making progress, even though we haven't been able to spend a lot of time, or I haven't been able to spend a lot of time. So more to come.